want to ride the boat. Baby, take control. What to do, YouTube? It's your boy Tilly, and I'm back acting with a crazy cool new reaction. Today, what we have today is the best dreadlocks top 10 part one. Yeah, we know. I thought about this and I said to myself, I have dreadlocks, so why don't I start doing, you know what I'm saying, shit that's around dreadlocks, that's dealing with dreadlocks and stuff. Since I'm starting my dreadlocks, you know what I'm saying, I'm going on this journey of growing it out. And to all my people that want to grow dreadlocks and have dreadlocks, this is for you guys. You know what I'm saying, you see different styles and everything, you know. But we ain't going to say too much, we're going to get straight to it. Three, two, one. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another set of great locks. Yeah. I'm not going to great. Today, we're starting a four-part series of looking at the top 10 best dreadlocks. Now, these are all celebrities that you guys have recommended to do dreadlock reviews on and how to get your dreadlocks just like them. So, yeah, he does, this is also uh, for people that have seen these the episodes that constantly ask for them but haven't seen them because they're so far back on the channel. And also, this is a cool way to see what you guys liked best on the channel. Now, before we get into this whole series, I want you guys to go check out greatlocks.com and it has everything you need for your dreadlocks. I have an instant locking, locking bundle that allows you to literally instantly lock up your dreadlocks. And I am releasing an online class in these next couple weeks. And this gives you guys an opportunity to communicate to me directly on how to actually start and maintain your dreadlocks. But just stay tuned for the update when I release the actual classes. All right, I really hope all of you guys are ready to check out the top 10 best dreadlocks. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let's jump into our number 10 person, which is Scrim. So on this first picture from the outside looking in, I believe that this man is Caucasian, but he could be Hispanic, it could be anything. I don't know anything about him besides you guys wanted to request. And this is his hair. It is very wispy and I've seen dreadlocks like this before. And this is kind of how straight hair dreadlocks look. They are very wispy at the ends. And if they are not maintained, if they're not coarse, my honest opinion on this, I, I hate when people have, I don't know, I hate when people have dreads like this, like, I don't know, especially if you have straight hair. Yeah, they're, they're not palm rolled, this is the way they would look. Which, his dreadlocks do have form and they're not super messy compared to how they could be considering that he is Caucasian or straight haired. We'll just leave it at that, straight haired. I can see why you guys wanted to review with this guy's hair because he has a pretty interesting hairstyle. He does have his hair bleached. He definitely does have his dreadlocks. And it's not even the tips that are bleached when it comes to his dreadlocks. The whole dreadlock is pretty much bleached. His roots are his natural hair color, which is like a dark brown. Moving on to this next photo, it is black and white, so you can't really see much in it, but... He he has his hair pulled up in a top bun, or as a lot of people call it, they call it a pineapple top. If you were to look at his hairline, you can see the separation within his dreadlocks, and that's a good thing. And also, you can see in this picture that he does have high top dreadlocks. So he has the high top fade on the sides, which looks really clean. You get kind of the best of both worlds when you have the high top dreadlocks, because you have almost the messy or the pretty much all of the hair on top, and then you have the clean fade on the side. So it's really the best of both worlds, and you can have like the lineup with the contrast of having the dreadlocks. But yeah, what, what I think this picture shows shows the most is the separation between his dreadlocks and you can see the roots and you can see that his hair is actually separated very well the only thing you can't really tell based on what we've seen so far is what method he's used to get his dreadlocks but i can go ahead and list off a few methods that he could have been using since his hair is straight he could have easily used yes, the rip and twist method to start off if he would like there is no way 100 that he would have twisted his hair because his hair is straight in order for his hair to look like this um he could use crochet method which is just crochet hooking his hair which that is probably possible that he might have done and another thing that i may have seen in another photo that it looks like he actually has been interlocking his hair so moving on to this next photo you can see that his hair is still wispy and with the backlight behind him it does show all the freeziness of his hair but that's really just expected when you have straight hair with dreadlocks there is going to be hair that is going to be sticking out if you do not maintain it with like a crochet hook and that is the best way to solve this issue is with freeziness is with a crochet hook but yeah with him having straight hair his dreadlocks do look nice considering his hair is straight and it is tough to pull off when you have straight hair it's not easy then moving on to this next photo i do believe this is him i can't really tell because his face is covered with his hand but if this is him which i'm pretty sure it is his hair looks way more maintained right here you can see that the freeziness has calmed down that all of his loose ends are pulled in together and i'm pretty sure he accomplished this with crochet hooking his hair and it looks like he's actually twisting the roots of his hair to actually just line everything up and separate his roots which at the point when your hair is actually locked up you can twist it just to maintain it to make it look nicer with straight hair and it looks like that's what he's doing if you can tell on 
the right tempo of him almost that that dreadlock is for sure twisted and that makes me think that the rest of his dreadlocks are twisted at this point point. and i think you can kind of tell that there is some interlocking done on some of the dreadlocks in this picture um just on the looks of it but i'm almost positive that he did interlock and you'll be able to tell for sure in some of these next photos now here's a photo before his dreadlocks his hair just looks really messy right here this could be the start of his dreads you can see some separation on both ends but you don't really see no locking whatsoever you just see his hair kind of messy very frizzy pretty much wavy his hair's not completely straight but it's wavy and this hair is still hard to lock up because it's not curly it's not super tight and oh, it is because you have to yeah. i'm talking about when a big dreadlock is actually pulled tight, so that on the right side. this last photo focus on the really video to check out and watch to see how you can actually start straight hair dreadlock thing in and you can get to look at it and uh i was super confused and he has a cool set of freeform dreadlocks to check him out right, cool. so i seen that you guys did request me to do his hair to look at it and uh i was super confused i'm not sure if his name is six lack or black which i'm pretty sure it is black we're just gonna roll with it whatever his name is it doesn't matter we're just looking at his hair today so in this first picture it's pretty interesting cool little photo but besides that you can see that it is top lit you can see that the top of his dreadlocks are lit up um so you can see that his hair is super matted and you can see that there's just beads everywhere and his hair is just literally just clumps everywhere you can see some in the front of his face are stringed and some are just balled up so his hair yeah, is just all over like the that. place I got him um, in some hair. pictures i do see him wearing beanies or ski up. masks so i'm assuming that he just wears beanies a lot of the time or he has his hair covered most of the time because his hair would not be like that unless it was being covered which evidence does show that he does have his hair covered a lot of the time and it gets to that point to where it'll just start to mat up ball up beat up or do whatever it needs to do to stay together so in this photo you can tell that on the top his hair is just all matted not really frizzy because everything is just matted the one thing about freeform dreadlocks when you give them some time and they start to lock up they will be super matted to the point to where it's not even frizzy all of the hair will just be locked up into the dreadlock but overall we got a lot to cover so let's go check out another photo of him here's one from the front and you can tell that his hair yeah. it almost looks home, like it's just normal dreadlocks but when you actually go in farther you can see that his hair is all matted up one part of his hair that i thought was pretty interesting was the right side of his head if you're looking at him shine. um one of those dreadlocks on that side looks like they're just super twirled up and i'm not sure how his hair would be it would be pretty interesting to see him actually like try to run his fingers through his hair and see uh Damn. like where his hair goes and how it can move um because right here just looking at his hair it looks like it's very stiff and not mobile whatsoever also one thing i do notice is on the front one of his dreadlocks uh has some breakage on it so one thing about freeforms as well or dreadlocks in general is that you're gonna have a breakage mostly at the tips of your dreadlocks because that's where the dead hair is getting to and then from just ripping of the hair and hair aging and hair falling out because hair falls out of your head every single day uh so much hair falls out every single day but um that's just natural course of hair and you can see breakage on that tip so that's that's normal but one thing that is interesting like i did mention is that his hair is not super frizzy it's just all matted together it looks like at one point he may have tried to maintain his hair or twisted it with his fingers that's why his tips are like that and then it just started forming and getting all clumpy um because he does have a unique set of hair like if you look at the left side of his head if you're looking at him it's just all over the place you can see beads at the end of his hair and it's like where does his hair even start the roots must be just super thick i can't even imagine if anything is inside of his hair because i know even uh if you guys know about bob marley when they cut his hair um they found or i don't even know if they cut it but they found uh so many types of insects inside of his hair that's one thing about uh dreadlocks in general or hair in general is you don't know what's in your hair unless you're i'm i'm pretty sure he's washing it but you never know what's in your hair that's the the main thing um you do see that some of his hair is curled and curved at the bottom where his hair may rest on his shoulders and that's also natural as well until your hair gets to a certain length where it passes your shoulders and isn't laying on your shoulders anymore it won't bend like that but in the meantime between time during that weird stage or some people call it the ugly stage of when it gets to your shoulders it'll start to curl at the tips and that's what i've been experiencing lately so i can definitely relate 
but I cannot relate whatsoever to how freeform his hair actually is. So we're going to move on to this next photo, and this one is really interesting. Um, you can see that his hair in the front, like I said, it looks like it's maintained, but then once you start moving towards the back of his head, and it's just all matted together. One thing I can say is I've never seen someone's dreadlocks exactly like his. One thing you can tell about freeform dreadlocks is that when you have freeform, everybody's curl patterns on every side of their head is different. So when it comes to freeforming, yeah. their hair is forming completely different than anybody yeah. else, like pretty much on the planet. Yeah, so you can see that the fact. weekend's hair is complete. Number one key you should know is that everybody's dreadlocks go a different way. They It's different. Everybody shit don't turn out the same way. Some people's uh, dress uh, come out thick, some come out thin, some come out in between, you know. Everybody shit is different. Be different than Lucas Abat, which I'm pretty process. sure Lucas Abat is freeforming. If he's not, then correct me. You could say that Black, his hair is completely different than the Weekends, and they both freeformed. So mm -hmm. it's really cool to see the diversities between freeformers compared to people who maintain their dreadlocks because they all relatively look the same. Even though they're all different, different hair textures, but if you're maintaining your hair, it's relatively gonna look the same as somebody else who has dreadlocks. But moving on to the next photo, like this is interesting. Like looking at his hair, it looks like a hat. It almost looks like he's wearing like just a super old beanie or a beat up beanie. It's interesting. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure where his ears are. He has headphones on, but uh, like I don't know if it's making contact with his ears or he just has to put headphones on over his ears. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to put like I'm pretty sure you'll be able to put earbuds in under his hair, but over his hair, I'm pretty sure he has to just go through. Why? Well, we gonna what's the next one? What, personally, when it's actually really interesting, really add some style design. Really, but you can actually perform. You don't see any maintenance whatsoever. It's like just big clumps of hair. One thing you will notice about a lot of people with freeform dreadlocks is they look some sort of maintained, but with his, it's completely freeform. Moving on to the next person, kind of heading into freeform, we see more of a semi freeform, and this is Lil Wayne at our number eight. From looking at Nalock's video, I seen their kind of perspective a little bit. Boy, his shit is holding on for. Dear God, his shit, Lil Wayne might have with his cut his shit, stop. And it's true, dreadlocks over time can recede your hairline. Uh, I think that could be what, what is happening to Lil Wayne, but then again, drug use could go into that. Using drugs or anything like that can result in you having receding hairline or hair loss. And something to add on top of that is if it's genetics, your genetics can result in that. Like if your dad or your mom has a receding hairline, mostly on your dad's side, they have a history of receding hairlines, You it can result in you having a receding hairline or hair loss at an early age, which he's really young. And, and you being young, I think he's in his 30s, and you having hair loss that would suck like personally for me it would suck to have that but honestly when it comes down to it definitely if it did come down to me if i was having hair loss i would definitely just go bald i would cut my hair i would just be bald and then just wear hats or whatever but overall what do you guys think i guess you guys can comment down below what you guys think on I would the whole situation of him going bald i didn't see it on not locks like i'm saying big shout out to him big ups to him now with him going bald and him having bald spots there's not so much going public about it i don't think going bald is something you'd take public be like oh i'm going bald but if publicity sees it then it's like it kind of sucks which is kind of what i'm doing right now but it's for views okay with all this being said i think i'm not really gonna go in depth with it i kind of thought about it and i was like he's going bald it sucks personally i wouldn't want to go bald but it is one of those things like you where you put yourself if you're doing drugs and something you're not supposed to and then it's something that can result in you having hair loss and it's gonna happen but it can be a result in all those things like genetics it could be with him having dreadlocks he could be losing hair just because of how his congos are turning out or all the stuff he's done to his hair he probably hasn't maintained it as well as he could have it could result in all those things so we got a drug use b genetics c not taking care of your hair and i think d could be dying his dreadlocks which he really just dyed them and bleached them with a lot of bleach and with a lot of dye you can damage your hair believe it or not which i'm pretty sure most of you guys do know that you can damage your hair with bleach with dye whatever so personally i would kind of stay away from bleaching or dyeing your hair especially if you're getting close to the root now i can understand if you're dyeing the tips of your hair but if you're getting close to your root stay away from that because it can damage your hair and result in hair loss so i believe we should learn from other people's mistakes if you don't want to lose your hair if you want to keep your 
your hair for a long time. Don't do drugs. Don't do anything that can result in you getting hair loss. So you guys seen how Lil Wayne's hair, obviously he has his hair receding and he's losing don't some do hair, drugs, but it's kids. all good. If he wants to keep his dreadlocks, I think that's awesome. And a lot of people hate on him for that, but it's really his hair and he can choose whatever he likes with them. I've seen people who go bottles with dreadlocks and just keep it. I've seen people go bottles with dreadlocks and then shave it all off. But it's really up to him. And I can tell you this, Lil Wayne back, you know, from like the Carter 3 or anything from like the Carters, from those albums, I was so inspired by his dreadlocks and it was just so cool to see how his dreadlocks were because they were oh, yeah. pretty thick at first and then he maintained them and started braiding them and getting them like twisted and overall just looked very clean. I think that sparked a lot of inspiration in a lot of other people to get dreadlocks. So big ups to Lil Wayne for actually kind of starting that movement, even though he wasn't the beginning. All right, since you guys made it to the end, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a bonus one right here. And this is Eric Killmonger or Michael B. Jordan when he had his dreadlocks for the Black Panther movie. So let's go ahead and head into our bonus of the day, which is Eric Killmonger. So these are real dreadlocks, and this isn't actually the first time he's having dreadlocks. Well, not Killmonger, but Michael B. Jordan. This is his second set of dreads. So I was looking at some pictures, and I found that he used to have braids, which he also wears braids now, which I thought was pretty funny that he used to have long hair. His hair was actually really lengthy, and he would always wear cornrows. So this is after he featured in the hardball movie and i'm assuming that this is during some light work that didn't really hit the surface but now you can just see that his acting career has blown up especially with the help of everyone surrounding him but enough about his whole career we're just going to talk about his dreadlocks how he got him his hair type everything that he does to maintain them just according to what i see and what i really think so let's start out with his hair texture what hair texture does michael b jordan have he i believe has like a 4a to a 4b around that range maybe even like a 3c but i'm feeling more than 4a to the 4b i wouldn't say it's a 4c because his hair isn't super thick it's not beady like african hair but it is definitely thick and coarse just like african hair so that's definitely why i got the conclusion of 4a or 4b hair now what is the method on how he got his dreadlocks since he does have 4a to 4b hair the easiest and the most efficient way and the that's almost really good yeah, that's almost on my, head. my head and you can just tell with his dreadlocks are very maintained very well put together and overall it just has a twisting mm. with look now that also leads me into maintenance how does he maintain his dreadlocks it's easy as well yeah. he does it with twisting with gel especially being at the rank that he's at he has people that he can pay really easy and they can do his hair for him not saying that we can't do that either but he does have more access to that because during movies he's always in hair and makeup and during these films he's getting groomed to fit the character eric killmonger does have dreadlocks so he definitely fit the character very well so we did break all this down his hair type 4a or 4b how did he get them with twisting with gel how does he maintain them twisting with gel again with his hair being 4a or 4b it does make it easy to twist with gel and have your hair turn out if your hair is less than that you can still do it but it's not as efficient so if your hair is more on the straight or curly or wavy side it is better to go with another method to get dreadlocks like if you look at Lil Pump how he got his dreads if you look at someone who has straight hair it looks totally different even though Lil Pump doesn't have straight hair he does have like a curly hair to him but he did use a different method it just all comes with your hair texture alrighty guys that's everybody's dreadlocks from today you're gonna have to stay tuned for part two part three and part four for the rest of the top ten list comment down below who you guys think has the best dreadlocks and then just keep an eye out for the next few videos to see who will make it but you guys on that give this video a thumbs up and also if you need any dreadlock tools make sure to go to greatlocks.com pick yourself up the locking bundle we have a sale going on right now and i also updated the shipping speed so you guys can actually get faster shipping speeds especially with everything that's going on with the pandemic the shipping speeds being even slower we have it set up now to where you guys can get your packages within two days but you guys on that hope you enjoyed the video like i said give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time peace all right this is jenna you already know what to do like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? On a road to a honey case of scribes. Let's go. Press start, I pass the moon. To the stars, I see you soon. Yeah, yeah. Take a tap, now I'm going on a cruise.